Here I am, about to fight the most powerful players on the Lifesteal SMP. These players have each killed everyone on the server at least once, and I'm about to fight both of them at the same time, completely alone. But little do they know, I came fully prepared to take them down. Those of you who know me might be asking, well Clumpiers, aren't you the strongest player on the Lifesteal SMP? And to that I'd have said yes. A few months ago, that is. After my work was done on Season 3 of Lifesteal, I decided to treat myself to a nice vacation. So I flew out to Canada and spent some quality time with my girlfriend. But in the middle of my vacation, Season 4 of Lifesteal started, and my vacation ended up causing me to miss the first two months of the server. And this time, all of my PvP skill went down the drain, because I hadn't trained in so long. If I fought anyone on Lifesteal now, they'd realize how weak I am, and they'd probably laugh at me. You know, like I'm some sort of clown. So I had to find a way to prove them wrong, and that's where I noticed these two, Redunes and Pangi. If I beat these two in a fair fight, the whole server would see I'm powerful again. The issue is, they each got 20 hearts on the first day of the server being up. Hold on, 20 hearts? On Lifesteal, whenever you kill a player, you gain a permanent heart to your health bar, meaning in total, they both killed at least 20 players. In the first day, together, the two of them have over 40 hearts to throw at me in a fight, and I only have 10. I'll need to level up a lot in order to beat them, but for now, I have a meeting planned with the leader of the No Pants PP. It's a faction on the server that's devoted to not wearing pants, because they think wearing pants is for cowards. I'm not planning on taking off my pants, but I'd like to discuss working with this team, because they were after the same people as I am. So after making my starter base and getting at least diamond armor, I met up with them. And he said, All right, clown, I heard that you want to join the No Pants People Party, but you don't want to take off your leggings, which honestly does not make a lot of sense, but I do have a proposal for you, okay? There's a one of a kind item. It's called the Pants Pass. If you have the item in your inventory, you are part of the team and you are allowed to wear pants. I'm not just gonna give it out to you for free though. So at 5 EST tonight, we are going to steal Pangy's entire base and we are going to flip it upside down. If you can help us keep people out of his base and from suspecting that we're up to something, then once we've finished with this, I will give you the one pants pass. You know I'm. You know he's Minecraft greatest salesman. I know that bro. Does that make me Minecraft's greatest sale? Hey. Okay, when's the last time one of you guys went to the end? Uh, I went a couple of days ago. I've never, never been to the end. Yeah. What is up, and they Mr. Clown? The, the first part of the plan was simple. Completely disassemble Pengi's base. I helped a bit with this. The real reason they needed me would happen the next day, though. Okay, I would be back up for if Parrot's trap didn't work on Pengi. He's here, he's here. Oh, I, he's here. I see his name tag, I see his name tag. My heart is beating. It's fine, it's fine, it's fine. Okay, okay. He's alive. Kill him. Is he actually? Is he? No, oh! Yes. Let's go! Good job. Holy. We Holy. We did. Oh my god. Oh my god. No way. We that wasn't satisfying. I didn't beat him. Parrot did. But I needed a reason for him to fight me. Then I remembered. Parrot used Pangy's frog to lure him to the end. Which means Pangy probably cares about the frog more than his own life. As for Redoons, he's a greedy businessman. Pangy will likely pay any price to get his frog back. So I need to get the frog named Quandil Dingle. Yes, I know, it's a really funny name. And the current owner is Mapic. So I set up a meeting for us to talk about the frog. When I met up with Maypig, he made it clear that he wasn't just going to sell it to me. He had set up an auction between me and Pangy to see who would get the frog. But something strange happened. After just one bid, Pangy quit. It was obvious he was up to something, so I immediately ran away with the frog. That's when they started attacking my teammates. I hit the frog and jumped in to help. It wasn't long before they ran away, and when I went back to find the frog, they were searching for it in the area. We chased them off and hit the frog for good. Now I have my leverage ready, but I still have to win a fight against Pangy and Redoons all on my own. I can't just go in unprepared and expect to win, so I hit up an old buddy of mine, one of the best UHC players in the world, for AMC. Okay, wanna die before Eric plays again? Huh? You wanna die? Yeah, just say it, 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 you wanna die. Dead good? Minecraft player, unable to hit me back. What? And he rolls back. What are you doing? 
Who's looking at me? Because of Ferre's teaching, I've been improving at an incredible rate. So huge shout out to him. Go check him out in the description. While training with Ferre, I started applying what I learned in 2v1 scenarios. And at first, it didn't go too well. But then... And so, I felt ready to take on a 2v1 against experienced players. So it's very clear that against two good players, the healing output of my 16 golden apples won't be enough to save me from their damage output. But then I started thinking, there is a better healing item in the game, one that lifesteal doesn't have a cap on, and one that, conveniently, has gotten easier to find due to the most recent update. That's right, Notch Apples. Yeah, that's right, with Ancient Cities, these guys are infinitely easier to find, and Ancient Cities spawn in predictable spots right under snowy mountains. So along with my daily training, I started going after these old structures to get the key to my victory. But one thing was clear, even with the Notch Apples, the threat of losing to two good players is very real. They often just broke my armor before I could even break theirs. So these Notch Apples aren't a guaranteed victory, they're merely what lets me stand at the starting line, what allows me to compete at the same level. I'll still need to play better than I've ever played before to win this. Each ancient city gave me around an average of 4 Notch Apples. I got to a stack just in time for the day of the fight. Now, while fully prepared, it's time to set my plan in motion. How are you doing, clown? I'm good, I'm good. Bangy, you have 20 minutes to reach spawn with Redoons, or else Quandale dies. I don't know if I can make that work, Cloud. It's it's a pretty long distance. Well, you're gonna have to talk to Pangy about that, because in 20 minutes, I'm gonna go over to Quandale and I'm gonna I'm gonna kill him. No, don't 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 do that, Clown. Hold up, hold up. So here's the so, rules, guys. Here's the rules. Want? There's rules. You two are going to fight me. 2-1-1. Two, one, one. Right. To the death. Okay. If okay. either party is not dead by the end of the fight, aka you if you guys the run, uh, okay. the frog will die. But what if you run? Yeah, what if you run? I won't. Just think, guys, like, I'm not expecting you to run, alright? But if you run, I get my frog back. Deal? Yeah, yeah, for sure. Alright. Deal? No, no way around Deal. it? Deal. Yeah, no way around it. Right. With the rules set out, we walked to the arena for our battle and readied ourselves for what's to come.
They teleported out. Even after carefully making my plan, it still failed because they always have something I don't. A teammate. Someone to get them out of the fight when they were starting to lose. That means all that work was for nothing. Or was it? Suddenly, something incredible happened. Clown, clown, if you catch up clown, to us, you, you just, just continue you just the fight. You just fucking popped off, bro. You're Does, anyone have, soul <laughs> Does anyone have soul, or soul sand? He's we see a clown to catch up to us, and then he just continues the 1v1, or the 2v1. The people who were watching the fight on the sidelines suddenly sprung into action. They witnessed how I struggled against Peña and Red, and they thought that running away after that was unfair. So they tracked down their team right as they were making their escape. Yep. Sam. Nice, bro. Just hit him with, hit him with fire. We meet again! So bro, nice, nice, nice! Like, nice! He's, so he's done, he's done, he's done. He's done, he's done, he's done. Crit him out, crit him he out, he's done. He has a bed, he has a bed, he has a bed. Nice! Yeah. Yes. Boost me, boost me. I have knockback, I have knockback. <laughs> Let's go! Let's go! Oh. <laughs> no way, bro. You got it, you got it. We got it, we got it. He's walled, he's walled, he's walled. He's crit him out, crit him yeah, out, yeah. out. Prince Zam could survive this, but not you, Pangy, sorry. Not you get the code. Code. How do we know how low he is? Don't do that smoke! Don't let him out to me! Yeah! Nice! nice. nice. Oh, 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 In the end, we ended up getting Woogie and Panky. Leaving Redoon somewhere out there still. But right now, I don't care about that. I've spent all this time trying to do things on my own. But maybe it's not so bad. Having someone to rely on. Even... No. Especially when it really counts. So go out there, make a friend, or talk to one you already know. Because you can't do everything alone.